I am extremely proud of ALPS and I'm extremely um, involved in ALPS and one of the things I wanted to share with you before I actually do any presentation is the reason I'm a part of ALPS is that um, several years ago I met Cookie at, at the hospital and we were having a health fair and she came up to interview me and I was scared to death because I'd never been on the radio before. <laughs> And we did a little interview, and I survived that, and then we got the helicopters to land, and then the little thing at the end of the street exploded, and I got in trouble over that. <laughs> so, so that was my first meeting with Cookie. But then later on, I was at a health fair, and I was seated next to Cookie at the Senior Citizen Center. And we were just talking, and I asked her, I said, well, tell me a little bit about ALPS. And she said, you know, it's better if you just see it. So she had me come over here and took me on a tour, and I fell in love with the little um, glass room out back, and that's where I wanted to stay all the time. And because of Cookie and her um, being so encouraging for me to come here, I became involved. Uh, then she talked to me about being on the board of directors, and I've been involved on that for probably about eight years, I guess. Our Sunday school class has been involved. Our work has been involved. So. ALPS is a wonderful place, but I wanted to thank Cookie personally from my perspective for getting me involved because had it not been for that little conversation at the Senior Citizen Center, I wouldn't have been here. Well, so thank you thank for you. that. Thank you for all you've done. So I appreciate that. But with that being said, um, this is truly an honor to be here to honor Cookie at her retirement while we're sorry to lose her. Um, you know, she's one of these people that she's never gone and she's never replaced. Uh, she's, just, she's just a part of ALPS and she always will be and we just so appreciate you so much. But because I'm not a person to make uh, really, really good comments, I contacted Tillman uh, Goins at the state and Tillman has a proclamation for Cookie and it says, whereas it is fitting that the members of this body pay tribute to those outstanding professionals who dedicate their time and resources to helping our most vulnerable citizens and whereas one such worthy individual is Cookie Larkin, a marketer and fundraiser for Alps Adult Day Services in Morristown, and whereas Ms. Larkin, serving on the steering committee that originally developed and founded Alps, a facility dedicated to providing care for vulnerable adults and seniors in a home-like environment, while respecting the dignity and self-esteem of each client, and whereas after her positive experience on the steering committee, Ms. Larkin joined Alps full-time in a marketing position which she quickly transformed to reflect her passion for fundraising. And whereas for 17 years, which I think is awesome, she and the app staff hosted fundraising events that varied widely in size, scale, and concept, but always featured Ms. Larkin's decorating talents. And whereas Ms. Larkin worked tirelessly to establish a high level of attendance and financial support at her fundraising events for Alps, and her commitment paid huge dividends and whereas during the last 12 years of her faithful service and through the support of the board and staff, Alps realized $1 million in gross proceeds. Whereas during her 17 years with Alps, Cookie Larkin positively impacted thousands of lives through her compassion for humanity. She leads the facility with an intact mission and a director and a staff with more than, tw more than 70 years of combined experience. And whereas Cookie Larkin is a lady of singular ability and integrity, she should be honored on this special occasion, now and therefore. I, Beth Harwell, Speaker of the House of Representatives of the 109th General Assembly of the State of Tennessee, at the request of and in conjunction with Representative Tillman Goins, do hereby proclaim that Cookie Larkin be honored and commended for her meritorious tenure with Alps Adult Day Services. We wish her much continued success and happiness with her future endeavors. Proclaimed in Nashville, Tennessee on this 14th day of January, 2016. so so much this is really this has just been an extraordinary time um and i so appreciate all your thoughts and your prayers and your kind comments um <sighs> alps has uh, been a huge part of my life for um actually the last 30 years it was when we started um our, when we first got our committee together to explore what we could do for families like ourselves there were 12 of us who had a loved one who needed some help um in coping with dementia and the families therefore needed lots of help and uh, so it's just uh, bloomed and blossomed and 
Uh, Alps truly is such a terrific place. And um, just like I said to, to Peggy, you really, you have to see it to believe it. And um, it's very, very special. It's been more special as, as time goes on. It's just gotten better and better. And um, it's not any one person. It's, it's always having a great board and a great staff. And this community who are so supportive of everything that Alps does. And it's just been a really uh, great joy for me to, to network and meet all the folks that I've met in the community. And I look out and just see all these precious friends that are that just mean so much to me today who have been huge to and for Alps. And I, I just appreciate it all so much. Um, so uh, couldn't have done it without all of you. And uh, I, just, I just thank God that I've had the privilege of being here all this time.